Did the jury reach verdicts on all counts in this matter? We did. Could you please give Randy the folder? The verdict form on count one, as signed by the presiding juror and dated today, reads, We, the jury, find the defendant Chandler M. Halderson guilty of first-degree intentional homicide as to Barday Halderson, as charged in count one of the amended information. As to the verdict form for count two, as signed and dated, we, the jury, find the defendant Chandler M. Halderson guilty of providing false information about a missing person as to Bart A. Halderson, as charged in count two of the amended information. Verdict form for count three, as signed and dated, reads, we the jury find the defendant Chandler M. Halderson guilty of mutilating a corpse as to Bart A. Halderson, as charged in count three of the amended information. Verdict form for count four, as signed and dated, reads, we the jury find the defendant Chandler M. Halderson guilty of hiding a corpse as to Bart A. Halderson as charged in count four of the amended information. The verdict form for count five as signed and dated reads, we the jury find the defendant Chandler M. Halderson guilty of first degree intentional homicide as to Krista R. Halderson as charged in count five of the amended information. The verdict form for count six as signed and dated by the four person reads, we, the jury, find the defendant Chandler M. Halderson guilty of providing false information about a missing person as to Krista R. Halderson, as charged in count six of the amended information. The verdict form as to count seven, as signed and dated, reads, we, the jury, find the defendant Chandler M. Halderson guilty of mutilating a corpse as to Krista R. Halderson, as charged in count seven of the amended information. And finally, the verdict form for count eight, as signed and dated, reads, we, the jury, find the defendant, Chandler M. Halderson, guilty of hiding a corpse, as to Krista R. Halderson, as charged in count eight of the amended information. I will note for the record that the jury also returned the eight verdict forms that read not guilty, and that those do not bear any signature or date, as well as returning the jury instructions. Let me inquire of you, and I'll use initials, Ms. B, are the verdicts which I read the verdicts with which uh, you agreed? Yes. Mr. Derringer, are those the verdicts with which you agreed? Yes. Mr. H, are those the verdicts with which you agreed? Yes, they are. Mr. M, are those the verdicts with which you agreed? Yes, sir. I do not need to ask the foreperson as his signature appeared on the verdicts. Ms. C, are those the, Mr. C, are those the verdicts with which you agreed? Ms. W, are those the verdicts with which you agreed? Yes, sir. Mr. M, are those the verdicts with which you agreed? Yes, sir. Mr. H, are those the verdicts with which you agreed? Yes. Mr. A, are those the verdicts with which you agreed? Yes. Mr. J, are those the verdicts with which you agreed? Yes. And finally, Mr. B, are those the verdicts with which you agreed? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, you have finished your service here as the jury in this case. Um, I have to tell you that um, words are difficult to come with to express the gratitude that I feel and that I believe those people within the criminal justice system which we serve feel regarding the time and concentration and sacrifices which you gave for this process. It's not just the days that we were here in court. Unusually in this case, we spent a number of days away from here, and yet you still followed your oath, your, the directions I gave you, and you were committed wholly and wholeheartedly to this process, and I thank you. I'll be happy to meet with you after I'm finished here in the courtroom if you wish to, to stay, and uh, please go with our thanks and gratitude. Randy? All right, for the jury.